Aiboan, Vanakam, I'm Vioni Dimel. This is Boston Lanka News bringing you news, views, and entertainment from Boston and USA. Respect for forest and all human beings, says President Rajapaksa to world leaders in Brazil. In Sri Lanka, boys are forced into prostitution, according to U.S. State Department report. Sri Lankan student in the U.S. wins a fellowship to study social psychological processes in post-war Sri Lanka. Sri Lankan actress Sabita Pereira in Los Angeles. Veteran cinematographer Suminda Veera Singha passed away. All nations must recognize the principle of not abusing the environment, said President Mahinda Rajapaksa, addressing the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development in Rio de Janeiro. The policy set for environment by developed countries must not hinder the growth of developing nations, the President said, adding that pushing various barriers and setting standards of environment will hamper developing nations in achieving economic growth. Sri Lanka, he said, has applied concept of sustainable development as far back as 2000 years ago and achieved remarkable results. Respect for forest and all human beings is deeply rooted in our life, he said. World leaders from over 130 countries are participating in the Rio Plus 20 summit from June 20 to 22 in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. The conference will focus on two themes, a green economy in the context of sustainable development poverty eradication and the institutional framework for sustainable development. Sri Lankan women and children are subjected to sex trafficking in brothels and that boys are more likely than girls to be forced into prostitution in coastal areas for domestic child sex tourism, according to the U.S. State Department annual report into human trafficking, which released this week. The report says that the government of Sri Lanka does not fully comply with the minimum standards for the elimination of trafficking, however it is making significant efforts to do so. The report also states that children are being subjected to bonded labour and forced labour in dry zone farming areas on plantations and in the fireworks and fish drying industries. Some child domestic workers in Colombo, generally from the Tamil tea estate sector of the country, are subjected to physical, sexual and mental abuse, non-payment of wages and restrictions of their movement. It also adds that a small number of women from Thailand, China and countries in South Asia, Europe and the former Soviet Union may be subjected to forced prostitution in Sri Lanka. Sri Lankan student Kulani Panapitiya Dias at the Clark University in Worcester, Massachusetts was one of 10 of the school's undergraduate students recently named Steinbecker Fellows. The Steinbrecher Fellowship Program was established in 2006 to encourage and support Clark undergraduates' pursuit of original ideas, creative research and community service projects. Kulani will travel to Sri Lanka to study the social psychological processes that hinder reconciliation in a post-war society. She will examine the psychological mechanisms that maintain and propel violence and hostile attitudes between ethnic groups. Our Sao News host Esther Wahida spoke to Kulani about her plans. You're going to be going to Sri Lanka uh, at the end of July to look at something that's very near and dear to your country right now. Talk about what your focus will be. So I'm currently working on a project on moral disengagement in group glorification and systems justification in Sri Lanka. 
So loosely translated, that just means that um, I'll be interviewing and serving both Sinhalese and Tamil on issues regarding the war, how their opinions, um, asking them about different um, scenarios that actually happened and events that actually happened during the war. So, What do you hope to do with this information? So, um, I'm working on this information for my double honors thesis at Clark. I'm an undergrad at Clark right now. And um, what I hope to do is, in order to take steps to solve a certain issue, you need to figure out what the problem is. You need to figure out how people actually think about these constructs. And, and it's interesting because the way that people justify what happened, that's what you need to get to the root of. And that's, and you need people to actually understand that this is how I justify what happened and this is the problem. So I'm just trying to help to take those steps, try to figure out how people justify these different events, like justify their side of the story or their, their group side of the story, so that people can take steps to kind of rectify and reconciliate the differences that, between these two groups. What are you hoping to find? Well, um, that's interesting because this research is actually based on a pilot study that I already conducted in December, and um, the findings of that study were fascinating, and that's one of the reasons why my project was funded by the Steinbrecher Fellowship um, to continue on during the summer. Um, what were some of the findings? Well, the December findings found that there were that there was a lot of, for example, competitive victimhood going on. A lot of people tend to justify what happened by saying this is okay, it's okay that this happened because the other group um, did this. This happened on both sides, you know, this is because I interview and a lot of people during these interview scenarios tend to say that um, it's okay that we did this because they did this as well. So it's kind of pointing the fingers at each other. Exactly. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of advantages comparison that goes on. Um, my research is based on uh, Banduras, Albert Banduras, who was a psych who was a psychologist, um, he did a study on moral disengagement in 1996, and um, it was interesting because a lot of a lot of the mechanisms that he pointed out, like advantages advantage comparison, we it's okay that we did this, for example, like setting up that vicious cycle. Um, there's a lot of euphemistic labeling. Um, we didn't kill anyone; it was self defense um, and that kind of thing. This uh, this of course, happens on both sides. Both um, ethnic groups and cultural groups tend to say the same thing. Award-winning Sri Lankan actress Sabita Pereira arrived in the USA to be part of the Run One Rag 4 concert in Los Angeles. The concert that features talented performing artists from Southern California will be held on Saturday, June 30th at 6 p.m. at the Lawndale High School, Lawndale, California. Actress Sabita Pereira spoke to Boston Lanka on the day she arrived. Uh, Sabita, uh, you are in USA to participate in the Run One Rag show in LA. What made you decide to come to be a part of Run One Rag for? There's a very strong thing that I uh, wanted to come here because uh, I told me it's a charity thing. And they are going to uh, donate uh, a scanner to Lady Ridgeway, which uh, really impressed me. So I thought, uh, okay, I must come because it's a very good thing. It's a very good project. So I thought I must come. Actually, I know Palita from long time. So he, he's been like inviting me from several years. Like it's, it's been last year he wanted me to come, but I couldn't come. Even uh, uh, before he asked, asked me to come, but I never had time. And I was like feeling lazy to come because it was very long way to come here. So, but I made my mind, I made my mind that I said I thought that I should come this time. So, uh, so I'm here. Our understanding is that in each show they honor a Sri Lankan artist in a very special way by inviting to this show. What was your reaction uh, that Sri Lankan community in California have chosen you to honor you for your contributions to the Singhala cinema? I must say that I'm really happy because, like, um, uh, the thing mostly uh, even in Sri Lanka, when you have, you have done some, something, if you are, if they appreciate you, that really, really uh, makes that it make made my heart really uh, 
happy and i must say that other other than that normally the people admire the other like you know like indian stars and all that that is in in this case actually they um, uh, invited me and they honored me which uh, which is very very uh, good thing and I, i must say that i'm really impressed and i'm very happy Palitha Kasturi Rachi directs and choreographs the show and Keith Ranga is the coordinator. All proceeds from his concert will be utilized to purchase an ultrasound machine for the Lady Ridgeway Children's Hospital in Sri Lanka. Subin the Veera Singh, award-winning cinematographer passed away this week. The veteran cinematographer was working on the newest movie Siri Dalanda Gamaneya in Anuradhapura. when he breathed his last the 62 year old renowned cameraman had been the live wire behind the success stories of celebrated movies including abba mahinda gamaneya road to elephant pass pauru walalu antima raya bindu nisala gira arunata pera and several others Born in Kurunagal on January 29, 1951, he entered the cinema field in the 1960s. In more than 40 years of his film career, he had worked in more than 200 films. Suminda had been a cinematographer since 1980 and had done 39 feature films and received 23 national awards for best cinematography. Sumin the travel to USA in January this year to be the lead cameraman in the first ever Sri Lankan teledrama done in USA Adrania Nayagara he stayed more than 1 month in Boston <music> On a personal note, it was our great privilege and honor to get to know such a wonderful human being like Suminda and worked with him during his stay in Boston. He was not only one of the best cinematographer in Sri Lanka, but also was a kind and gentle person with a giving heart, always willing to share his knowledge and wisdom with a smile. Suminda celebrated his 62nd birthday with us in Boston. It was a great loss for the Sri Lankan film industry and a personal loss. for his daughter his family and many of his friends suminda's friends in boston has organized a special puja at the new england buddhist vihara in boston on sunday june 24th at 7 pm to offer merits to suminda and to share our sorrow with his daughter his family members and friends that concludes our news edition We meet you again with another news edition of news, views and entertainment from Boston and USA. Till then, goodbye.